is one who nurtures and supports the principles on which it seeks to develop better informed men and women who will strive to make ultimately a better world. Such generous spirit, whether reflected in creative counsel, monetary donations, or community-spirited leadership, is the measure of fellowship. One's dedication to humanity and the college function are indistinguishable. Both exist to elevate the human spirit and human intellect. Therefore, by instituting the Fellows Program, Northwestern Michigan College believes that it has created both a symbol of its esteem for those who have contributed to its stature and a proper vehicle to publicly recognize loyalty to its values and ideals. NMC Fellows are recognized for their creative spirit and their contribution to learning, which are two of the major goals of Northwestern Michigan College. The exhibits that he sponsored at the museum incite the interest of young people in museums and in the process of learning. And learning is what our college is all about. Every year, the college has submitted a list of individuals who we feel are deserving of recognition. And in that process, we're committed to trying to select absolutely the people who have done extraordinary work on behalf of the college. And I would have to say that the Rukowskis have been very instrumental in doing good deeds for the college for a long period of time, both with their service work and with their contributions with the college. When I think of Ed and Sharon Rutkowski, I think of thoughtful, generous, caring members of our community. So Ed, Sharon, we're fortunate in this community to have people like you who silently uh, follow their passions and give back to this region. Uh, your involvement in the arts, uh, whether it's been here at the Dennis Museum Center at NMC, looking out for professionals who are making their living uh, in the arts community, uh, working with children to create an appreciation and an understanding of how important art culture is to a vibrant community. It's not gone unnoticed, yet you've never stood out and asked for appreciation or accolades. Um, you have great humility, um, and we are fortunate to count you as friends of this college and friends of this museum. We met the Rutkowskis when our babies were four years old and they were best buddies at the preschool. And I won't tell you how long ago because Sharon hides it very well. The Rutkowskis are very good at contributing to their community and to their neighborhood and they've become very, very good friends of ours. Yeah, I'll say it was 45 years ago when the, the kids <laughs> Oh, were. you dirty rat. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun with Ed and Sharon as, as our neighbors in Logan Hills. Uh, we, we really appreciate the fact that they supported our Lobdo Teaching Restaurant Scholarship Dinners. Every year. Every year. We made a decision to come to Traverse City to raise our family, and they're one of the reasons why it's been so pleasant. Well, I think Ed is a great leader and an inspiration to a lot of young people and uh, we really have enjoyed our friendship with them. Sharon has been very proactive and productive with children and children's groups. She's a wonderful cook. I've had the opportunity of knowing the Rakowskis for many years. I recall many years ago when you guys were doing some very creative thinking and planning. And I think the benefits are shown in the fact that you've been able to create a legacy for your son Thomas in the Discovery Gallery. I'm very proud to be associated with you and call you a friend for over 30 years. The thing that I'm most impressed with is that Sharon, you are the epitome of a teacher. I see you as always positive, caring, interested in people. Ed, on the other hand, your subtle humor helps me think and laugh because I know many times over the years, whether it be golfing or just having a conversation, you and I disagree on some points, but you always leave me with that wonderful smile. I drove into town with two kids in the back seat of the car, and what's gonna make a family with two kids in the back seat of the car wanna to come to an art museum on a college campus? In my conversations with 
groups in the community, the Tri-County Medical Society Auxiliary, uh, of which uh, Sharon Rakowski was part of, uh, was exploring the same idea of having an interactive uh, facility in the community. Interest on both of our parts independently came together to what became the Discovery Gallery at the museum. I've been so fortunate to work with Ed and Sharon over the years as they've continued their support of the Denos Museum Center here at NMC. Ed and Sharon are such a wonderful couple and they are so generous and thoughtful in their giving throughout the community, but especially here at the Denos Museum. Sharon especially is so passionate about creating opportunities for children to experience arts and culture here and throughout the state and throughout the country. Ed and Sharon, I remember seeing some of the movie trailers you've made for your grandkids. Those are so cool. You have greater technological capability than I do, and it just shows your commitment to spending quality time with your family and creating opportunities to celebrate those moments together. Those are opportunities that we hope kids and families are having here at the Denos Museum Discovery Gallery as well. Both moved to Traverse City around the same time, and Ed and Bill decided to buy a boat together. And so that was the beginning of our friendship. Well, Sharon is a gourmet chef. If you're ever invited to dinner at her house, please go. So fast forward 10 or so years later, they were talking about a museum here. I'd read about it in the paper, and I had just been down to Muskegon and seen Body Works exhibit that was really neat. And I came back and talked to some of the Alliance members of which Sharon said, yeah, I'm interested. So Sharon and I did a road trip and we visited every hands-on museum that, that was up and running at that time in Michigan. Came back with lots of ideas. So we said, we think we can raise $100,000 for an exhibit that will be hands-on. And one of the gals said, you'll never be able to do it. I just looked at her and I said, watch me. And uh, we did. That's how the Discovery Room came into being. Actually, they were former neighbors of my husband and I, which is even more special. They made a wonderful gift and a choice to have the Discovery Gallery named after their son, Tom. And what I find so remarkable and admire so much is the legacy that Tom will always have, and it'll be planted here at NMC. What a wonderful choice, decision, and legacy that they've left for their son, Tom. So we've crossed paths in many ways, and I, I can agree with, with the term I just now heard, the couple, Dr. Ed and Sharon, are awesome. They've been involved in everything in our community. They've been supportive of any event that comes along. They're, they're deserving of this award just from their participation in the community. They're the fabric of this community. We've got a lot of great people in this community. They are one of the top. I really got to know the Rakowskis, Ed and Sharon, when they became our neighbors. They've been our neighbors for over 25 years, and you just couldn't ask for better neighbors. Well, Ed and I are both uh, gardeners, so we, during the summer months, we meet, uh, we meet almost every day and sit in front of my garage and have, a, have something to drink and uh, we talk about all the problems in the world. Ed and Sharon, you are more than deserving to receive the award to be a fellow at NMC, and I would like to offer my congratulations to you both. I'm absolutely thrilled to death that Sharon and Dr. Ed are receiving uh, this year's fellows. The Rakowskis, I know, have been wonderful friends, wonderful contributors to the community and to the NMC community. I think you guys, more than most couples, are really the role models that this community needs and deserves. Congratulations, Ed and Sharon. You're well deserving of being fellows at NMC. I agree. Congratulations. This community benefits from people who are willing to take their success and give it back to the community. And Ed and Sharon are a wonderful example of that. Congratulations, Ed and Sharon. You're so deserving of this recognition, and I'm so pleased to celebrate it with you tonight. I'm so happy to see you wearing the medallions of the fellows. Congratulations, love you both. Thank you, congratulations. Welcome to a very select group of people that we are proud to call fellows at Northwestern Machine College. Congratulations, Dr. and Mrs. Rakowski, and welcome aboard. <laughs>